Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the den where we're going to share another shave, which is brought to us by Sterling Spice. Um, this is the older version of the uh, of the soap. If you recall, I'm clearing out some of my lesser used soaps or cleaning out the uh, soap locker because I got uh, criticized for having a lot of soaps in there I don't use. And she's right. I mean, there's, I pulled out maybe 50 different soaps in there. A lot of them I haven't used in a long time. And this is one of them. It just was sitting in the back and uh, didn't get used. So I have it out today because, well, I haven't used it for a while. So I got to decide if I want to keep it or not. As far as performance goes, there's no reason why I shouldn't keep any of Sterling soaps. Uh, Rod does his marvel, marvel. He does a great job with them. There's, if, if you can't lather Sterling soaps, then you're doing it wrong because uh, I don't. I can't make it go bad. Uh, today's razor, by the way, is be using oh, another seldom used razor. Is it? Uh, dang. General. Uh, I can't remember. Dang it, it's been a while. Well, it's a uh, a general razor and uh, aluminum. These were real popular about the time I bought the soap, which would be four or five years ago, maybe six. The days run together when you get old. It lathers beautifully. We're using a, it's a synthetic uh, brush with a handle made by a gray dog this was a blank actually it was a pen blank i sent it to him and he made this razor for me or a brush and uh he did a wonderful job i don't know how many he made but he gave pretty much all the guys on the cadre got some kind of a brush from him when he was with us Steadily, he has a hobby making uh, with his lathe. He does a wonderful job with them. This soap was intended to be a homage or his version of Old Spice, and I can see that having it on my face. Um, the soap itself is a little bit kind of a somewhere between those triple milled soaps that I love and the kind of mushy single pour soaps that I also love. I mean, I don't really see a soap that I dislike other than some of them factory made soaps. I don't even really hate those. Um, this is a uh, Colonial General. That's the name of this razor. Colonial General in uh, aluminum. I don't know if they're in production anymore because I don't keep up with that stuff. But everybody was getting one, so you know, I had to give in to peer pressure, and I got one too. Fragrance of the soap is pretty close to Old Spice. I don't think they'll ever be dead on. I don't know if the, par the components are are uh, not available if it's economically not feasible to make it or if there's a they can make a copyright on a smell i don't know but it's pretty good i have not tried other dupes in soap anyway i have uh, my father was a big old spice fan and so, naturally, when I think of aftershaves and what he smelled like, he smelled like Old Spice. And uh, here it is. He's been gone for 15 years, maybe? 2008. Yeah. Roughly 15 years. And uh, got into one of his foot lockers because kind of clearing out some stuff. 
long range preparations for some life changes for me. And uh, his footlocker still smelled like him. I was just overwhelmed by nostalgia when uh, I got that. I closed it back up to save the smell. That, that was my dad, that's what. It's amazing what you'll remember when you do that. When my son gets my age, he's gonna think what a dad smell like. He's not gonna know because I tried every soap under the sun. Skip around fragrances. I don't have any one in particular that I stick with. So he's just gonna end up confused. Sorry, son. Yeah, the more I use it, second pass with this, the fragrance is gathering pretty close. I've never tried the Old Spice, original Old Spice soap. Look at that CPAP mark. Um, so I can't tell you how close this is to OG uh, Old Spice soap. I'll say this is pretty close enough to evoke your know, memories. I like it very much. Soap itself is hard. Like I said, it was. So, it's one that you probably will bloom. Put a little water on there to soften up the surface. Makes it easier for your brush to pick up product. And then, my bowl lather, so, whip it into the Captain's Choice bowl. And go to town. Uh, turned out wonderful. Good grief. I don't need to do anything. There's a little bit here, like usual. So, this razor, it was real popular. There's no reason for it not to still be popular. I'll have to look at that one when we get done. If they have a website, you know, I'll put it in my description just so that you can find it if you want want to try one. I think they got to be available on, on eBay because, you know, they were all the rage and then all of a sudden you didn't hear much more of them. So, they got to be uh, specimens out there that you can, you can pick up. I'm just as slick as can be. Not as good as a four pass shave, but don't feel like I want to do that. Let's try something new. I've also got something from my friend Chris Lindsay, or CBL. I got a, some of his, um, some of his version of Witch Hazel. So a CBL's Super Wamular Dine uh, Q Baby, uh, Witch Hazel. It's kind of a lemony scent. Stronger, stronger in scent than the, my usual Thayer's Lemon. It's wonderful, wonderful. We like it a lot. Now the aftershave. We have Sterling Spice here. And I have a not original formula. It says original, but that's because it's original uh, as of 1997. So we'll kind of splash a little on here. And as I recall, well, Old Spice doesn't isn't a real strong, long-lasting one until you layer it on decade after decade, and then it lingers on for 15 years, which is nice. So now we'll compare it, because I've kind of got a little nose blind because, you know, when you're surrounded by it. So we'll see if this is any different. Not quite as 
pronounced actually. So maybe Art's soap or is gonna last a little longer. But nice. Old spice can't go wrong. Of course, yeah, I'm old, so old spice and old guys. I even got my old guy t-shirt on today. I'm gonna put a little I even have some Old Spice powder. I don't know if I want to use it or not. I got enough talc to powder a million baby butts. And that's it. We got a great shave today from Sterling Spice, Colonial General, and uh, Synthetic Knot. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Major Rich, and you'll find me at theshavingcutter.com. I sometimes forget to post my videos there, but that's where they're supposed to go. Uh, if you're finding me on YouTube, that's where I am. Uh, if you've made it this far, you know, like anyway, subscribe. We're trying to get our viewership up to get me out into the into the suggesto sphere so that more people can learn the gospel of traditional shaving. I hope that happens. It's kind of a Maybe not, not at its peak anymore, but still very popular. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.